All right, everybody, welcome back. I um, just wanted to show you something. What could it possibly be? This is a journey. That's right, it's our Stumax. Finally showed up. I'm quite happy. Um, and that thing's kind of quite a bit lighter than I thought it was going to be, so that was pretty exciting. Um, I don't know, it just seems like something that large should be heavier, but uh, anyway, so I was quite happy with that just because I know that the plane's probably going to be on the heavy side to begin with. So, anyway, just wanted to show you. Um, let's take a look. Obviously, we got our power wires coming out the top here. Um, it slides perfectly into the into the inlet there, so that was real nice. Um, in fact, I'll probably have to put a little bit of uh, tape or something around the outside of that just so it's a little bit more snug fit. Um, so that was pretty awesome. Um, if you look here, we got all of our blades that give us that uh, super nice um, noise that everybody's used to that makes it sound real quiet and more like a jet engine. Here we got our stators and everything, so you can see a lot of carbon fiber work there. Uh, same thing on the nose part here. So, anyways, um, pretty excited about the whole thing, and I'll show you how it pops in here. All right, you can see it fits in there uh, nice and easy. And uh, like I said, I'm probably gonna put a little bit of uh, tape just to add some thickness to that so that it uh, fits in just a little bit more snug. But uh, overall, it fits really good. Once it's on the rails and everything, it wouldn't matter anyway, but uh, I just want a nice airtight fit. So there you go. Um, that's the Stumax SM110-52. So um, I'll end this with uh, few more action shots here but uh, anyways actually looks kind of cool when you go over here and then look in the inlet it's kind of cool if you're nerdy like me and like the planes it's really awesome so anyway so I guess I'll go over uh, some stuff that I'm still trying to work out um, Still need to figure out what I'm going to do with my sequencer valve. Um, haven't decided yet if I'm going to put it up in the nose, like uh, here behind the cockpit. Um, I'm thinking that might be kind of a cool place for it because you'd have your all your airlines and everything running back there. And if I put the... Uh, air tanks up in the nose here um, that would be a pretty good solution so um, that's something I'm looking at there's actually a space underneath that um, plywood former there um, that all the hoses and everything could run and then they just go down the sides over there um, the other thing that I noticed is let me get my oh here we go all right this actually will fit right on top here and uh, the um, the hatch goes over the top and everything without any interference um, so I'm probably going to do something like that I'm uh, thinking about working some kind of a I, I want to try my hand at some uh, fiberglassing here but like a, uh, a custom in enclosure that'll go around um, the back side there that'll allow that bottom part to um, kind of be exposed to the um, the exhaust going out there to kind of cool it so anyways um, something I'm thinking about but uh, not quite sure yet but, so I think almost certainly this is going to go up towards the top um, everybody's probably wondering about uh, air circulation and all that kind of stuff so besides that idea that I was just talking about um, if you look down here those are going to be cut out on the left and the right side which will allow a little bit of air to get on the inside here so anyways um, that's 
going to help out with some of the cooling. But what my ultimate goal is, is to have a battery pack here, here, and uh, depending on, you know, center gravity and all that stuff, um, I may have to do like a gun rad and put towards the back there. But what I'm hoping is to either get the three batteries in here, maybe I can uh, put the speed control somewhere else. Um, that would be kind of cool. Then it kind of keeps all the weight closer to the center of gravity. Um, I'm thinking one of the other ideas I was bouncing around is uh, I could actually put this up in there and it would actually be closer to those air vents than um, if I stick it actually in the engine compartment. So anyways, and then um, I actually had kind of an idea too of putting all the radio equipment in the uh, back half of the plane and then that way it would kind of be away from I mean if you think about it the aileron servo is right there the elevator servo is going to be right there the rudder, ser rudder servo is right here um, the throttle and everything um, depending on where I mount that speed control will be right here um, so basically the only two servos that will be running a servo wire to will be the nose steering uh, servo that's right over here somewhere and then the uh, throttle ser um, the throttle lead so then that way it kind of keeps all the radio equipment isolated um, from the engine, the batteries, speed control and then I've read on some forums that this thing puts out a lot of electromagnetic whatever so anyways and then that would keep everything separate from the radio um, the only problem so if you look inside here probably the most convenient place would be to have the receiver right around here but this is all carbon fiber which would make that not such a good idea so um, you know I might be able to put it on the right on the inside there that's not but uh, Anyways, I'm just kind of mulling over ideas, but um, just to um, give you some ideas of what I'm looking at, but uh, I think it'd be best case scenario if I could get all the batteries to fit in here, but I'm not sure that that's going to happen. Um, I'll go to the hobby store and see if a 5,000 milliamp 5 cell, 5 cell would fit there, that'd be 10, and then, I don't know, 2 cell, 5,000 milliamp here if that would work um, otherwise like I said speed control and then ideally I'd like to put the extra battery right up in there but um, I'm not sure if that'll work with the center of gravity and everything so anyway okay I'm rambling so um, go ahead and do a couple more shots of the Stumax and we're out of here till the next video <laughs> Thank you.